Welcome to Shaman Man, a channel for spiritual growth and personal development. We hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment letting us know what you think. We're glad you're here. Be well. Hey everyone, welcome to Shaman Man. I'm David. I am super, super happy you're here. So, are you going through the awakening process? It's a question I get when people start to have major changes going on in their life and the old ways that they felt comfortable with, they now don't seem so comfortable with. So I guess the first place to start is, what is the awakening process? You know, I don't really believe it's like an event. I, I do believe that there are milestones that, and big triggers that can help to shift you or, sh or change you in some way rapidly. But you know, from the day you're born, uh, you're being asked to awaken. So we have the dogma of our childhood and education and religion and um, societal norms, whatever, uh, that in my opinion help to prevent you know, our awakening. Uh, food, chemicals, um, propaganda, it's all designed to limit our understanding and limit our connection with Source and Spirit. So, for many of us, something changes in our life, uh, sometimes trauma-based and sometimes just uh, you lose a job and you lose perspective or, you know, just everyday occurrence helps to make a shift in you somehow, helps to say, hey, wait a minute, there's, there, we need to reevaluate something going on here. So. To me, you're always in a state of awakening. To me, it, some people do it faster, some people do it slower. Um, and there's no right or wrong in that. Uh, it happens in the right time for the person uh, always. A lot of it's based on your understanding in the moment and your perspective in that moment. So there are some physical things that happen when you become uh, awakened or are in the awakening process. So I thought I'd share a few in case this is happening to you and so that uh, you might feel a little more comfortable with what's going on and, and view it a little differently. So one of the first things that starts to happen is um, a change in the things that you like. So you may have liked these types of TV programs, um, these types of activities, and then all of a sudden uh, not so much anymore and you're finding a hard time uh, trying to find something interesting to you. That's a potential sign. People, a change in people. You used to have these kind of friends, you used to have um, enjoy these kind of activities with them and uh, that's changing. Yeah, you no longer find them interesting, you no longer agree maybe with their perspective. So that's a big sign that things are changing for you. Foods will change as you change. You used to enjoy, you know, a big steak and potatoes and now uh, meat becomes an issue for you. Or, um, you know, you used to be able to drink five gallons of milk and now you find yourself lactose intolerant. I mean, um, all sorts of stuff happen like that. That's you know, there's some biochemistry going on there, and as you age, different things occur. But outside of that, if we take outside of the normal uh, progression there, um, that's a big sign that things are starting to change for you. Your energy load. You start to feel things in your body that you didn't feel before that are outside of the biochemistry stuff, that are energy changing. People call it the Kundalini and you usually have it towards the base down here in your lower, below your first chakra and it kind of raises up in you and becomes uncomfortable for a lot of people, almost agitating. You feel out of sorts on the inside. That's a huge sign 
that you're part of the awakening process and a, and a, you're, you're in the wave of that. That's going to come and go as things change for you. And I think one of the biggest things, the result of all of this and why it's occurring is that it really does change the being of you, your beingness. You know, I know for me, how I respond to people, I used to take in this kind of anger, depression, sadness, these lower energies based on where I was at, and then I would convert them back out. So, you know, if you slap me, I would punch you in the nose 10 times just to make, make it clear that we don't need to go through a bunch of steps, right? Um, those kind of things. I don't, I don't go to that anymore. I, that's not my first reaction anymore is you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you and show you. Um, that's a big shift. And that happens for a lot of us. That's part of your beingness, your thought process, how your thoughts change, what you focus on, how you feel during the day, what, what energizes you, what excites you, what interests you, all changes. And how you respond and where you find your happy place, your inside you, starts to emerge. And you realize that there is just a bigger world than what we've all thought previously. And that's a wonderful thing. So in this time of great change, and there are times where we as a, as a collective are moved. And this is one of those times. And during this time, know that you're looked after. And during this time, know that you want to find good teachers, mentors, read, you want to study some, and you really want to help move yourself forward in this, in this, uh, in this process. And during these times of big change like now, you can move yourself faster. You're only going to be able to move yourself as far as yourself will allow you, as far as, as far as you're ready for. It's, it, there is no short, shortcut in this process. Uh, you, you, can't, you can't skip levels here. Uh, there's no hack, no mod you're going to be able to do other than the, the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual work that you do with yourself. This is a wonderful time for you to step into the real you. This is a wonderful time for you to be genuine, authentic, and to express yourself fully and learn what it means to express yourself and who you really are. And that's the reason why we all, through our whole life, are in this awakening process. Hope that's helpful. Be well.